Welcome to the Magician Tarot Meaning and Meditation video. In this video, I'm going to go through the meanings of the images found on the Magician Tarot card. Then I'm going to go into the keywords associated with it. And then lastly, we will do the Magician Tarot meditation exercise. I'm using the Rider Waite Magician Tarot card, which has become the standard. And I think for good reason, because it's a really good looking deck that invokes a certain amount of uh, subconscious thinking as well. So I first would suggest that you get a bunch of books and see what they have to say about the card. Then put the books away and then do some self-reflection. Uh, one of the key words of the Magician card is self-realization. So, in a sense, you become the magician, and the tarot is an aspect of yourself. I would self-reflect on all matters, which is an aspect of knowing thyself. The most important part that I see in the imagery here is the one arm up and the one arm down. This is listed as different meanings in different books, but the one that I like is as above, so below. So he's manifesting his will from above, from spirit or God or aether or from the collective matrix, by however you see it, and manifesting his will to the earthly realm, Malkuth, or however you view it. And note the position of the index finger on the left hand, which is a symbol of concentration. So he is a master of mind control and concentration. So you would look at everything on the card, and of course you have all these flowers, and the, these sort of white are perhaps considered purity. And you have red roses, and he has a red robe, and that's sort of considered your passion or your actions. And he has a symbol of infinity over his head. The infinite universe is also uh, symbolized in the snake eating its own tail. The other most important part here is this table or altar, which he has all of the four tools. These are the four suits of the tarot, each which uh, represent the elements of the alchemist, earth, air, fire, and water, which also correspond to mind, heart, body, and soul. Focus your attention on the details of this card to improve your powers of concentration. Knowledge of these principles is derived from the four planes of consciousness, considered the spiritual, mental, astral, and physical worlds. Some of the uh, key words and correspondences of the magician Magus of Power card are the color yellow, the number one, and the number one means the self and self-reflection, the astrological aspect of Mercury, being a master of the elements, he has skill. When you have skill, you have confidence. He has acquired wisdom and power. So when you need a strong level of concentration in your work or your craft, this is the card to meditate on. And now for the meditation. Relax for about 15 to 20 minutes while gazing upon the Magician Tarot card. Keep a fixed gaze on the card while trying to relax as much as possible. This will work best when you're experiencing that light alpha brainwave stage. Now close your eyes and within your mind's eye, your subconscious, visualize the, Im the image of the magician. Ingrain this image within your subconscious. Watch for all the shapes and colors and remember, the magician is a card of concentration. The next thing that you can do is give the magician a personality. So reflect on all of the keywords and what this all means to this magician card. And what would it be like to meet this person, the magician? How and when are you yourself the magician? When you know the personality of the magician, then you will know how it acts to the questions and correspondences of the other cards. This is a very positive card to get 
and I think that we should all be magicians. On another occasion, you can go through the magician card reversals. Because of the meditation, I didn't want to mix the two. Then you will open your eyes. And just as coming out of a dream is like entering a new reality, you will realize that you have now entered a new level of concentration and power. <laughs>